Hello friends, in this video we will talk about anemia and jaundice. Okay, and okay. Right, so anemia, anemia you are seeing here in this box. Right, so anemia is the blood disorder characterized by the reduction in. So there is a reduction in the RBC, HB and the PCB. Okay, and why this is happening? There is either there, uh, yeah, there is a breakdown of the RBC leading to the excess loss of the blood. Okay, now let us see the morphological classification of anemia. So normocytic normochromic remember chromic means color normo means normal cytic is cell so the size and the color is normal normocytic hypochromic in normocytic two types normochromic and hypochromic in and hypochromic also is macro and microcytic okay now we are seeing the normocytic hypochromic. Here, just one thing important, the color will be less. Then macro, bigger. Here, the color, color will be less but larger size. Opposite of large is small, that is microcytic. Okay, that's all. This is etiological classification. So, this is the pathological features. Okay. Hemorrhagic anemia, hemolytic, nutrition deficiency, aplastic, and anemia of the chronic diseases. Okay. Right. So, hemorrhagic anemia first. So first of all, we have the hemorrhagic anemia. So there is acute loss of blood and chronic loss of blood. Okay. Here it will be normocytic and chromic. Here microcytic and hypochromic. Then hemolytic anemia. These are all the causes. Okay. So liver failure, renal disorder, hypersplenism, burns and any kind of infections, drugs, just one drug you can remember, easy drug, penicillin. For infections, just remember hepatitis, enough. Then lead poisoning and uh, incompatibility and autoimmune disorders. Along with the intrinsic, that will be hereditary disorders. And here the morphology is same as that of the hemorrhagic where acute loss of blood is there. Here it will be sickle cell anemia and al and thalassemia. Now continuation, nutrition deficiency anemia. Here iron, protein, B12, folic acid. These all are required for heme synthesis. So remember the factors required for heme synthesis are deficient. Okay. Here it will be microcytic and hypochromic. Here in place of micro, macro. Here, microcytic common, here it is hypochromic, here also it can be the same. And, and here also it can be the same, that is the hypochromic, but here megaloblastic will come. Remember, folate deficiency causes megaloblastic anemia, okay. Then aplastic anemia, this is bone marrow disorder, it will be normocytic and chromic, okay. The same will be for chronic diseases. But here the features are slightly different. We have the non-infectious inflammations, chronic infections and renal failure with the neoplasia like Hodgkin's disease is an example. Let's see with jaundice. So we have the pre and post hepatic and with just hepatic jaundice. So what is the cause? 
UCB in prehepatic because hemolytic. Okay. Opposite is posthepatic, only conjugated. In combination is hepatic. Then Van der Berg test, indirect positive here, opposite for post, biphasic for hepatic. Blood examination, we have the anemia. Anemia is observed only in prehepatic, nowhere else. Because hemolytic, excessive hemolysis causes anemia, right? And A by G ratio, it's generally normal, but it is slightly impaired in the hepatic. Next, bilirubin. Bilirubin, it is only, yeah, it is only seen in the hepatic. It is not seen in rest of the two, okay? And urobilinogen, it is increased in prehepatic, opposite in hepatic, not seen in the posthepatic. Same with stercobilinogen also, okay? Then, liver function tests. Then last is the liver function test. It is impaired in hepatic because hepatic is involving the liver. Hepatocellular hepatocytes are damaged. That is why there is an impaired liver function. Okay. And generally it will be normal. Okay. Not much disturbance in the liver function. So references from where I took the pictures. That brings us to end of the video. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.